Hello friends, if you bought one of my switch boards for the Elegufecta rotary device, thank you very much. If you want to buy one, my website will be linked in the description below. Uh, keep in mind it's a paintball website, so don't let that throw you off. Your kit will come with the circuit board, the switch, three male connectors, two female connectors, and four manufactured pre-crimped wires although I will probably assemble the cables before I ship these kits. To build this, we're going to start with the three four pin connectors. Go ahead and press those into place on the board. And then turn the board over, and set it down, it should balance well. You're going to need a soldering iron and some solder and I'm going to solder the connection for one of each of these connectors. That allows me to pick it up and inspect the position of these connectors and I can remelt it while I'm applying force to the connector and that will allow it to seat in place properly and make sure that it's laying nice and flat. And all I have to do is press on each one as I heat up that joint in my fingers there. Now that all of those are in place, I'm going to go ahead and make all the rest of the connections. There we go. Next, we will install the switch itself. Go ahead and press it into position. I'm just gonna lay it down at an angle like that. And I'm going to solder one pin, this top corner up here. And then, because the switch is installed at an angle right now, I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. I'm going to push the pin, I'm going to push the switch down while I heat up that connection. And I can feel the switch fall into place there. There we go. Now I can make all the other connections. It is a little bit uncomfortable to solder at this angle like that but you can do it, it is possible. Although it might be easier to rig something up which would allow you to solder this flat. Problem is it just doesn't lay very flat with that switch on the back. All right, so inspect all of your connections. Everything looks good on that side. Everything looks good on that side. So the board is complete. To put the cable together, I'm going to take the pre-crimped wire and the connector and I'm going to go here from position 1 on the connector to position 1 on the other connector. And then we're going to go all the way down the line. Position 2, to position 2. Position three, position three, last position four to position four. Now your connector is complete and next we install the board into the machine. I mounted my switch right at the front of the machine next to the touch screen panel. I used a one quarter inch drill bit and mounted it 10 and 3 quarters inches from the right hand side and one inch from this inner lip on the front of the machine. Just double check where it's going to drill through on the bottom of your machine. Make sure you're not going to damage any of the pre-existing electronics and make sure there's room for the board to fit easily. 
Okay, I've got the machine upside down now. My hole is drilled right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the switch. I'm going to install it with the rotary attachment facing forward into the machine. So I'm just gonna push it through that hole. Get it facing forward. And then there's a lock washer and a nut that I'm going to put on the other side there. Alright, that's snug for now. Next, I'm going to unplug the cable for the Y1 motor right here. And I'm going to plug that into the circuit board now where it says Y1 stepper motor. There it is. Next I'm going to plug in the cable that comes with the board and that's going to go where the old motor was plugged into on the main board. So on the main board it goes to Y1 stepper and then on this it says Y1 to board. Alright, and then you probably want to tuck your wires and zip tie everything nicely. But that's the bulk of the install. Now I can flip the board over and power everything on and start testing it. Alright, I've got the machine turned over, turned on, and ready to go. I can hit my Y plus and Y minus to make sure that the main axis, the main Y axis, is still going in the correct direction. And then I can plug in my rotary attachment right from the front of the machine here without flipping over the machine ever again. And then I just flip the switch and I can test and make sure the rotary is going the right direction here too. I did swap the direction of the rotary in the design of the circuit board. So it should now rotate in the correct direction so that these numbers and the logo are now facing the user and it should rotate in the correct direction. However, I've heard that Elegoo has released a firmware update which flips the direction of this device. So if you do need to swap the direction of the motor, or you just want to know how to do it, here's how that works. So, in order to swap the direction for the roller motor, you just need to swap wires 1 and 2 inside the roller connector. So to do that, take something sharp and push down on the little square just like it's a button and pull the wire out at the same time. Remove wire 1 and 2, and then just put them back in but swap the positions. So the first wire goes in spot 2, second wire goes in spot 1, and now when you plug it back in, the rollers will run in the other direction. Alright everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the assembly and installation process is easy for you. And thanks for buying the product. I hope you enjoy it. See you next time.